Hey guys, this is Mistress Nightmare here, and today we'll be reading Chapter 2, I Killed For You, the Jeff the Killer love story. Before we get started, hit please hit that like button, comment, subscribe to this channel if you guys want more creepy foster fan fictions out there. Until then, let's get started. Angela's point of view. I woke up the next morning. I grabbed my cell phone to check the time. It was 9.17. My friend had texted me seven times. I didn't bother reading them. I was still mad at her after what happened last night. I walked out of my room and knocked on my friend's door. There was no answer, so I turned the knob to peek inside, only to discover that she wasn't there, which didn't surprise me. So I walked down the hall and decided to make myself some breakfast. I was a college I was on the college campus in a small dorm house that me and my friend Jessica shared. As I sat on the couch with a bowl of cereal, I turned on the TV only to find myself watching the news. Breaking news, the serial killer has struck again, claiming three more innocent lives. Three college freshmen who were found with their throats slit in the slender woods. The victims have been identified as 20-year-old Scott McKelson, 19-year-old Brad Jefferson, 19-year-old Jessica. The police have asked for full cooperations of the citizens, please, if you see anything strange last night or have seen any details could be lead to the serial killer's whereabouts, please contact your police immediately. I sat there, staring at the screen, screen, my thoughts echoing through my head. They're all dead, with their throats cut. The serial killer slit their throats, just as I wished for. Suddenly, there was a knock on the door. I got up and answered it, and there was a police officer at my door. Can I help you? I asked. Yes. Are you... Angelo? He asked. Yes. I'm sorry to tell you, but we found your friend, Jessica. Last night, she's dead. I, I know. I saw the news just now. Can you think of anything or anyone who wanted to hurt her? N no, no. Okay, thank you for your time. I'm sorry for your loss. If anything comes up, please let us know. Okay, thank you. I closed the door as he left. I sat there. She was dead. I know I said I wish for the killer to come and slit her throat, but I was only saying that when I was so mad. I walked into the kitchen. I put the bowl in the sink. I turned around and stopped it in my tracks. There on the table was a folded note with with my name on it. I picked it up and unfolded it. And my blood ran cold. On it looked like it was written in blood. I'll kill for you. <laughs> 